As a kid on Detroit's northwest side, rusted junk and industrial debris were commonplace. A charred carcass from an abandoned car blocking a side street really was not much of a surprise. Some of my earliest creative actions included making models of cars, planes, ships, stuff like that. I would take them into the backyard and set up elaborate battle scenes with army men crossing stick bridges and airplanes crashed into the dirt. Occasionally I might douse the entire scene with lighter fluid and put a match to it. Parents and neighbors were, well, not amused. Actions like that got me in plenty of trouble, but have since proven to be significant in the development of my mindset as an artist. So, not surprisingly, I have an affinity for the aesthetics of damage, destruction, or any evidence of the passage of time. I can find evidence of aging on a Renaissance bronze equally as engaging as a bottle cap crushed onto an asphalt street. It makes sense, then, that I would have an affinity to works in the collection that echo some aspect of my own sensibility. Stephen Lee's work suggests the frailty of material and culture. Peter Volkus, of course, is synonymous with raw material aggression. Really interesting work by Anna von Mertens, Catherine Clark, Deborah Baxter, and Jeffrey Clancy have contemporary narratives that I think are really quite important. While humor is a part of the work of some of these artists, there is also an element of danger that I find distinct and very much appealing.